Hello, it's Tim with Tadai Farm. Today we're going to do some more work on the 6620, getting it ready for this fall. Uh, we've already gone through and greased everything for the 10 hour, the 50, the 100, 200 hour, 400 hours. There's a couple of things at 800 hours you do, and I don't know when the last time this one was done, so we're going to do them. So stay tuned, we'll show you what we're getting involved with. We're going to start first with this 800 hour on the two speed rotor drive. Uh, then we'll jump back to the 400 hour, what you do at the uh, uh, reverser. But uh, anyway, at 400 hours, you want to check it. 200 hours, you want to check the level. I'll show you that in a second. But we got our book out here and it tells us how to do all this right here. So let's spin around over here. All right, this is the two-speed rotor on this 6620. Right inside here is the rotor. It's got the rasp bars on it. It spins the feeder house, brings the crop up inside there. That rotor spins, knocks all the grain off the cob or knocks the pods apart for the beans or whatever you're harvesting. Um, it's a two-speed and there's a way to change the gearing up here. You line it up put the pin in When you go to direct drive it runs a lot faster than it does when it's not in direct drive in direct drive. It's reduced speed So there's Three gears right here that spin and it spins off of this so it slows it down as it's spinning So you can get slower speeds for your larger grain um, But right here's a plug now, here's a picture of what it looks like where it says top oil um, check box or check or whatever. I can't, it's hard to read what it is in that print, but that arrow needs to be pointing straight up. Right now, I've got that arrow pointing up here. It's hard to see, but it's pointing straight up. So if I took this plug out, the oil level should be a quarter inch below that. Um, but since I didn't know what was in there, I had it up here someplace. 3H drive ratchet, we'll pull that out. Treat that like a socket. Just short extension put into that. Ratchet pops that out. Then it recommends you use a four inch pipe nipple. I had a six inch handy, so I put a six inch in there, got it out just a little further. Tip it down, let the oil start running out. And it, I let it drain for two hours. It's really thick, slimy gooey sticky oil it's a 80w 90 here's what that looks like um here's the bottom uh typically your oil for your car is in the 30 40 weight range this is in the 80 90 weight range so it give you an idea how thick that gear oil is but it's in there for these gears in there and since we're in reduced speed we're using those gears a lot so uh end of the plug does have a little metal uh magnet on the end of it so uh, it was clean there was nothing really on it a little bit of little bit of stuff but be expected for who knows how long it's been since that's been changed and that's why we did it the former owner told me that was not done one of the other things you do at um 800 hours is the um well, let me look at the book here it's the transmission down underneath he did he told me last fall he did that so that is good so we're not gonna worry about that one but let me show you what's involved on the other side with the reverser. All right, we're here around at the front of the combine. Here's the feeder house. And here is the variable speed drive for the head. Um, the feeder house. And that's the reverser right there. There's a knob you can pull up and it actually will change direction. If you slug it, so you can turn it backwards and unslug it. Anyway. Gears in there. Here's the oil fill. It's got a dipstick. And then here on the bottom, up underneath, right there's the drain plug. We're gonna pull that out and drain it. 
let you see how thick this stuff is. All right, got our bucket there, got this loose. Let's see how little of this goopy, gunky oil I can get on my hand and not drop, and not drop the uh, plug down in there. Well, that's not near as bad as the other. That don't look too bad at all. A few little shavings on there. Uh, that's probably from trying to shift gears with it. But we will let that drain for a little while. Make sure it all gets out of there while we do that. We're going to change the engine oil. But we're not going to video that. So we'll be back here in a second. All right, we got the plug in the bottom. We let it drain, drip for what, like two hours. These jug come with a little tight tip on there. Take a knife, cut it off, and then there's a seal on it. For you non-farmers. Kind of makes its own little funnel. And then we can go right in here where the dipstick goes. Turn it right side up. Shove it in there. Now, there is a spot you can check the level on it. If you drain it, you put one quart in. Same thing over there on that dual range. You drain that, you put two quarts in it. So these are one quart jugs. Now I have to let that catch up a little bit. Anyway, we'll be right back. All right, we kind of shoved that in there. I shoved it in too quick and kind of overfilled it. It's thick stuff, so it runs in slow. So I'm kind of wiping up some of that. We'll put that uh, dipstick back in there, and this is done. That's that's all it is. It's just a little drain and. On the back side, here's a, a spot where you can check the level. But, uh, hmm. Just found a bolt loose back there. I'll have to see if we can't tighten that up. Anyway, a little puddle to clean up on the floor. We'll let this set like this for a little bit. Just to let that thick oil drain down. But that's all that's involved in changing the uh, oil in this and that uh, dual range. So, hey, thanks for watching, guys.